What's up guys, Ben here from Egg Roll Films. And if you haven't heard already, there is a new ruling change in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! This is big for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Uh, it is the change in ignition, eff ignition effects. And not everyone is 100% sure on how this works or how it did work in the past. But I will try my best to explain everything. So basically in the past, if a player had monsters like these, like Black Luster Soldier, Gale, Dark Arm Dragon, or Brio, when, when the player summons any of these cards, that player has player priority to use its effect before uh, his or her opponent could have a response. So basically, a prime example is Brionic. Brionac, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Uh, basically, when he comes out, I can uh, I can use my player priority to uh, let's say this is my hand. This would be a really stupid hand, but I had this card, this monster, uh, this card to bounce back, like say uh, a card. Yeah, like a dragonfly. Uh, I'd before my opponent could do anything. So basically, if I pull out a face down bottomless, uh, I could discard Brio, Dragonfly goes back to the hand, and then my opponent can play bottomless trap hole. That was the gist of it, pretty much. But now, since the ruling change, if this situation happens again, and I discard, like, how it will work is I get Brionic out, and then my opponent has the response. Then I could, then they can play bottomless trap hole, and I can't use Brionic's effect. That is pretty much how it works. But that's not the thing that people are confused about. So let's take a card, for example, uh, Ryza, because I don't have a Caius on me or a tour guide. So, but those are pretty prime examples of what uh, people are wondering about. So let me zoom in. Oops, let's focus. Yeah, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so Ryza. This is a trigger effect. People think uh, these effects won't go off if I bottomless. Back then, uh, the player had a uh, priority to like target a card before uh, their opponent could have a response. And the thing is, they can still do that with this ruling. The people saying there's no priority is a total like wrong term for it because there will still be priority I can get this in the camera priority to like use trigger effects like this because they are pretty much mandatory so if I got Ryza out by tribute summoning uh, he can pick uh, a card to return back to the top of the deck I mean if I, if I pick this face down bottomless yeah I'll still get removed but that will still work that is still around uh, if I had a tour guide, I don't have a tour guide. I will have one when the battle pack comes out. I'm sure everyone will. Let me zoom back out here. People think if I summon tour guide and they play torrential, I won't get tour guide's effect. But that is totally wrong because tour guide, uh, the condition for tour guide, if it's normal summoned, then I can uh, get a level three fiend from my deck. It doesn't say once per turn. I can get a level 3 fiend from a deck. If, to, like, if I summon Tour Guide and it was su successfully normal summoned, and then my opponent played Torrential, I will still get a Sangan from my deck. Because it its trigger has been met. Some people get that confused. So like if I play Torrential, the effect won't go off at all. But it's to make it easier, cards that say once per turn. You know, like Dark Arm Dragon. Once per turn, you can remove one dark. Once per turn, you can... I think this is the invasion of chaos so this is the weird ones like but basically once per turn I can remove a monster from the field or if we were playing back then I would declare if I was gonna attack twice I don't know how that works but yeah or Gale once per turn you can have an attack but yeah so I pulled out some prime examples that would be pretty good uh, against monsters with ignition effects you know like Brionic and stuff so a bottomless trap hole this will hit a lot of cards. People are going to be maining this now. This is a really good card for, you know, because people running around with BLS, uh, Brio, Dark Arms, Chaos Dragons, you know, this this is a really good card. 
Book of Moon, same thing. You can just make them flip, you can flip them face down before they can activate their effect. Uh, and note, uh, same with Tour Guide. Trigger effects, they will still go off if you Book of Moon them because uh, they don't have to be face up on the f uh, face up on the field to resolve. So if they summon Tour Guide, you book it. You're like, oh, you don't get its effect. Tour Guide will still get its effect because it was still normal summoned. Like people need to get that in their mind. Uh, I didn't even like talk about Valor, I just had this under all my cards. So, this is going to be a pretty long video, but I want to try my best to explain everything. Uh, people will be talking about Valor about everything, Dino Rabbit and whatnot. So, basically, Valor is going to be a freaking amazing card this upcoming format, which is like mm, two weeks, May 8th. Yeah, because that's the new set, I guess, or just this format, I guess. Uh, yeah, Valor is going to be incredibly good. Uh, well, that's kind of blurry. Sorry, guys. I don't know. That's weird. Uh, yeah. So effect failures to be really good because just like bottomless or oh, well, there goes my phone on my desk. That's zoomed in kind of close. Okay. Just like uh, Brio. I mean, you can still let them use their cost because you can just they can be uh. If you have no response to the summon, and then they can just discard, and you can Baylor. But if it's cards like uh, BLS, when they summon it, you can just Baylor it. They can't call player priority anymore because it's an ignition effect. Uh, this is why it's really going to be good. But yeah, uh, quick thing: you can Baylor a rabbit, a rescue rabbit, and if they banish it, its effect won't go off because uh, Valor doesn't care uh, where the card is, it just it needs to be face up when Valor is discarded and sent to the graveyard. So if people think it's a yeah, it's a cost to send, uh, banish to the graveyard but its effect won't be activated because then Valor yeah, Valor is a new text on the super so it's easier to read and understand but uh, the monster just has to be face up when this is discarded and sent to the graveyard, and it, the effects of that monster are negated until the end phase. So, doesn't matter. Because, let's see, skill drain is different. It just says negate the effects of all face up monsters. Uh, so, Rescue Rabbit can work under this. Because Rescue Rabbit isn't face up anymore. Valor doesn't care where it is. Just let the. Uh, Sum that up for some people who don't know. But yeah, so what was I saying? So there's Bottomless, Book of Moon, Skill Drain in some situations. Uh, like if they're summoning, if they're going to use an ignition effect, you just play Skill Drain. Compulse is going to be a really nice card. Uh, you know, it, it also stops Ixies and uh, Synchros. Uh, Phoenix Chain will be hot. I mean, people are already using this, but uh, players don't have player priority to use their effects anymore. I mean, obviously you're going to want them to use their cost to activate and then play the card because that's a smarter thing to do. Uh, and then, like I said before, Torrential uh, will just destroy all monsters and people are just going to running this in two. So, basically, I kind of summed it up a bit. Uh, cards... I have Dragonfly out. So, basically, people are thinking it's going to... Hurt and Zekter, it's not going to hurt and Zekters at all because just like they used to, you just have a response to their effect. And you can use this anywhere you want. So basically, uh, people saying Zekters are dead, they're always going to be the same. I play in Zekter, so I'm trying to defend them. <laughs> uh, other than that, what else is I going to share? Um, sneak peek. Sam is going to be in YCS Chicago this weekend, so I'm going to be the local judge at the outlet if you're going this weekend. Uh, I wanted to enter the sneak peek, but Aaron, the store owner, wanted to ask me for some help, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'll get my packs too, I just won't be entered the tournament, but yeah, hopefully I get Photon, Streak Bouncer, or uh, Card Cardi, obviously. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just comment below. Um, I'll post both articles. I mean, well, the official, like, release on the Konami website and then, like, the Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! blog has a, like, explanation as well. Uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. 
like, comment, do what you guys do. Um, I'm sorry about the Portland regional videos. I try to work on those, get those back up. But they're on private right now, like I said in my, the last video. But I'll do what I can, and because some people didn't get to watch them. Uh, so, yeah. Peace, guys. Thanks. See ya.